everyone, uh, we're doing a transition footwork for pin hitters video here. Uh, we should have already watched our intro to attacking video where we talked about that four step approach. Um, very rarely are we in a situation where that's all we have to do. Um, usually when we're out on the court and we get into that four step, we have to have done something before it. So when we talk about transition, um, that means we're moving from one phase of the game to another. So there are three situations that we categorize as transition that we're going to cover. Um, there are different footwork patterns for the first one, and then the second two, they're the same footwork patterns, but they're just, you're starting in a different spot than when you do them. We'll go through that as we get there. Um, again, we're, we're focusing on that four-step approach, so we just want to be really efficient in how we move so that we can set ourselves up to get into that approach. Um, I've drawn on my driveway here a couple lines. This one that's coming across this way is supposed to be my 10 foot line. The ones on the sides, I don't have a ton of room here, so I've just drawn narrow side lines for a really narrow court. Um, I'm gonna be going through footwork that both are outside, so our, our hitters who'd be hitting from the left front of the net, and our opposites, our hitters who'd be hitting from the right front of the net. We're gonna go through both sides. Um, we really like when both of our pin hitters, our outsides and our opposites, get to know how to do the footwork from each pin. So we're going to go through both of them really slowly at first, and then at the end I'm going to go through just one of them really fast, and I'm going to ask you to pick one of them to go through really fast as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing this, I'm right-handed, I'm going to be doing everything as a right-handed hitter. For our actual transition footwork, doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed, you'd be doing the same thing as we move to our spot. It would just be when you get into your four-step approach that we'd be doing something different. Um, yeah, so I guess the, the one last thing, a really, really big focus for us here is that me as a right-handed hitter, once I finish my transition move, so my just footwork to get to where I'm gonna start my approach, I wanna make sure that I'm, I've got all my weight really forced and emphasized on my left foot so that I can take a good first step of my approach with my right foot. If I were a left-handed hitter, same thing but opposite. I'd want to make sure when I make my transition move to get ready to take my four-step approach, my weight's really on my right foot and I'm ready to take my first step with my left. Um, so that's about it. We're going to get into it. So there are three transition situations we're going to go over. The first one of them is serve-receive to attack. So the other team has served a ball at me. I'm either going to pass it or my teammate's going to pass it. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm one of the passers back here and I need to then get outside and get ready to take my approach, right? So we're going to pretend I'm the outside hitter. I'd be playing left front, but I'm pulled back to pass. So I'm right here. So my move, what's really important is that I'm able to take my four step approach where I'm starting from off the court. I'm moving onto the court. So we want to come at an angle. I'd want to get way out here, really off screen would be my ideal spot. Our goal when we're taking our four step approach every single time is for our second step. So as a right handed hitter, my left foot, left handed hitter, my right foot. My second step is always going to be on or behind the 10 foot line. That gives me a lot of room, a lot of good space. So our footwork, serve, receive to attack, really, really simple. It's just going to be three shuffles. So I'm going to go to my left here, then I'll do it facing the garage door. You'll get to see the 10 foot line and I'm approaching to the net and that's it. So all it would be, I'd be here. I'm ready to pass. I'd one, two, three, and then I'd feel my weight on my left foot here. My first step of my approach is right, left, right, left, and attack. So I'm gonna do it up here. I'm gonna walk through it really slow. We're doing it together. We're going in three, two, one. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm on my left foot. You can't see me, but here I come. My first step is right. My second step is left. It's on or behind the 10 foot line. Final two, right, left, I jump and attack. We're going back. We're gonna go a little faster this time. Three, two, one, half, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. On my left, right, left, right, left, attack. Now we're gonna do it with a jump. Three, two, one, pass, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Right, left, right, left, and attack. So right now I would pause the video 
I'd go through that two to three more times by yourself, go full speed, just get that footwork down so you've got a good understanding, good handle of it. Cool? Awesome. Next one we're going to work on is blocking to attacking. So this would be the other team is setting their right side hitter, and I'm, I'm our left front attacker, I'm our left front blocker, so I'm worried about blocking them. They hit the ball over the net, we dig it up, and we're ready to attack. I need to be ready to take my approach. We know that our team wants to set me, so I need to be ready to take a swing at the ball. What I'm gonna do, this is gonna be the same footwork for our final two moves. I'm gonna start up at the net, I'm blocking. I'll face you guys to start. I'd be blocking. I'm gonna take a drop step with my inside foot since I'm at the left front. My inside foot is gonna be my right foot. So I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna cross over with my left, I'm facing backwards, and then I swing around and take a right. As we pick up speed and we go faster through that, you're probably gonna add in a couple little hop steps here. Again, our big focus is getting my weight on my left foot as I move back so that I'm ready to take my first step forward with my right foot, which is gonna be my right, right here, cool. So I'm gonna go up to the net and do this. Again, it's three steps and then a little hop as we pick up speed. So I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna cross over, I'm gonna turn it around, and then I'll probably take those little gather steps at the end. Again, I wanna get on my left foot. So walking through it, no jump, I'm here, right, left, I swing it back around, I take my little hops and I'm on my left foot, then I'm going right, left, right, left, attack. Going a little faster, here we go, in three, two, and one, drop, cross, turn it, gather, gather, I'm on my left, right, left, right, left, attack. Now with the jump. Drop, cross, turn it, gather, gather, gather. I'm on my left, and full speed and jump. That's it. So now again, let's pause the video. I do that two to three times by yourself. Go full speed, get that jump in there, get used to it. We're now gonna do our third and final transition situation. So this will be, I'm our front left player again. The other team has set their front left, their outside. So they're way over there. I'm, I'm not gonna go block them. My responsibility is to play defense and try to dig, but now we're gonna pretend that they've hit the ball over the net. It's coming to someone back here. We're able to dig the ball up. And again, I wanna be available to hit. So this is gonna be the same footwork we just did, but we're starting from a different spot. So what I wanna focus on here is really getting to our correct defensive spot. So as that outside hitter, my goal on defense when the other team sets their outside is for me to be 10 feet off the net and about 10 to 12 feet inside the court. So what that's gonna look like is my right foot would be on the 10 foot line right here. So for me to get there, I'd be starting up at the net. I'd see they set that player over there. I'm gonna take a drop step. I'm gonna shuffle out here. My right foot is on this 10 foot line. Then they've now attacked someone back here. We're gonna dig the ball. We're gonna try to set me. Same footwork I just did from blocking. I'm gonna take a drop step with my right foot. I'm gonna cross over. I'm gonna come back around. I take my gathers if I need them. And then I'm in my approach, a right, left, a right, left. So again, we're gonna start at the net. I'm gonna put it all together, walking through it. They've set out there. I shuffle, my right foot's on the 10. I drop step with my right foot, I cross over, I come around, I gather, 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 I'm on my left foot, and then I approach. Going full speed with a jump. Here we go in three, two, and one. Shuffle, right foot, cross over, gather, gather, right, left, right, left. Swing and attack. Awesome. So for our outsides, that's it. Those are our three moves. Again, I'd pause the video here. I'd go through that a couple times on your own real fast, just so you've got a good hang of it. Uh, now we're gonna do the same thing from the right side. Cool. So um, for our right sides, as a right-handed hitter, so at, at the start of this video, we talked about our outsides. We wanna start our approach from off the court and approach at an angle in. If I'm a right-handed hitter and I'm attacking on the right side, we don't wanna do that. We wanna start our approach right on the sideline, right here, 
and I'd be taking my four steps straight ahead. My goal would be to let the ball cross, cross my body, come straight ahead, and just have me attack it straight down. Cool. So what that really does for us, that eliminates a couple of those shuffle steps coming out of serve receive. So I would just be starting here. My goal, again, is to just get to the sideline. That From right here, that really only looks like one to maybe two shuffle steps. So I'd just be starting in serve receive. The other team serves. I'm going to walk through it. I'm going to shuffle. I probably only get two little hops there. You can't see me. I'm right here. And then I'm into my approach. Again, my second step is on or behind the 10-foot line. Right, left, right, left. So super simple, we don't have to move a ton. I'm just taking a little hop over to the sideline. Here we go, walking through it again. They serve, shuffle, shuffle, right, left, right, left, attack. Really simple, love that one. Love opposites who are passing in serve, receive. Um, so then second one, I'm now blocking. It's my block to attack transition. So same footwork, but now just mirrored on the other side. So this time, my drop step is going to be with my, my inside, my left foot. I drop back. I'm going to cross over with my right. I'm going to swing back around with my left. I'm going to take a couple little gather gathers. So I'm, my weight's on my left foot here. And then I'm into my approach. So I'll walk through it, starting up at the net. Going in three, two, and one. Drop, cross, turn, gather, gather. I'm on my left and right left, right, left, attack. Going through it a little faster. Drop, cross, cross, now together. Right, left, right, left, jump. Full speed, here we go. Drop, cross, turn, gather, gather. Right, left, right, left, attack. Our final one, same thing but mirrored. I'm playing defense, I'm going defense to attacking. Again, I want to get to a point where I'm 10 feet off the net. I'm 10 to 12 feet inside the court. This time, my left foot wants to be on or behind the, or right on the 10 foot line. And then I'm going to drop with my left foot. I cross over. I turn, gather, gather, right, left, right, left to attack. So from the net, that's going to look like this. I shuffle. My left foot is on the 10. They've attacked the ball back here. I'm going to find it. Left, right, left, right. My weight's on my left, and here we go. Right, left, right, left, attack. Going a little faster, here we go. They attack, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, swing. Full speed, here we go. They set over there, defense. Left, cross over, turn, gather, gather, right, left, right, left, and swing. So that's it. Um, those are our three footwork patterns. I would pause the video right now. I'd repeat that right side again a couple times. Um, I'm going to go through one more time here of over on the outside. We're going to get a couple extra full speed reps in. So first, I'm going to do one where it's serve, receive, to attack. I'm going to go right from that into blocking to attacking, and then right from that into defense to attacking. We want to try to repeat those three full speed as many times as we can until we've got a good hang of it. If we get good at this, like this is where you win volleyball games. Um, if you're an opposite hitter, I would repeat this exact pattern, but over on the right side, I'm going to do it from the left because I usually play over on the left, but if you usually play on the right, get more reps over on the right. So here we go, this is what it'll look like. I'm going in three, two, one. Shuffle, 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 right, left, right, left. Now I block to attack, block, I drop, cross, turn, gather, 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 right, left, right, left, attack. Now we're going defense. Shuffle, shuffle, my right foot's on the 10. I turn, I cross, turn. Gather, gather, right, left, right, left, attack. Going full speed, not pulling it out. Here we go. Shuffle, 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 right, left, right, left, and attack. Flop. Right, left, right, left, attack. Here we go. 
right and left, right and left, last one. I'm off defense. Right, left, right, left. And that is it. Keep at it. See you soon.